Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine and I'm so excited to welcome you to a collaboration entitled Festive Friday Holiday Decorating. Joining me today is none other than the wonderful Bree from Bree's Project Book. I love her. She loves black and white like I love blue and white. And guys are decorating tips and organization as well as practical things you can do to keep your home beautiful or phenomenal. So check her out. The link to her channel will be in the description box. Now we're always purchasing supplies to do DIYs and sometimes we over purchase. Well at the end of the year that's a great time to start making your Christmas DIYs using those existing items. So I'm going to do just that. So here's what we're going to do. Today we're going to make cone trees, beautiful trees that are being sold for so much money. I have tons of poster board and of course a hot glue gun and what else? Yarn for a DIY that I never did. So let's get started. Look at how easy it is to shape the cone just using a little bit of the hot glue and try to smooth out that hot glue. You don't want it to have a lump in it. Use a pencil to draw a line around the bottom edge of your cone. That's going to be your cut line. I started drawing my mark right at the largest opening on the bottom. That way I wasn't going to have an uneven circle. I used my scissors to cut along the edge on the bottom and I was staying right on that pencil mark guys and it worked out beautifully. I also used scotch tape to seal off the seams on the cone. The thing you want to do is avoid lumps. If you're going to use very thin yarn you might have a little lump here right at that fold line. Okay, to begin, you want to tape a small piece of the yarn underneath on the inside of your cone. That's if you're going to use very thin yarn. And then you want to glue it completely around the bottom of the cone. The next roll, you can kind of apply the glue in intervals, maybe about three locations. And do that all the way up to the top. The reason why I recommend that you apply the glue because if you are going to attach things like stones or even certain uh, shells or whatever you want to apply, you might loosen the yarn and there might be a gap. I had that on the very first one, so I've learned that lesson. So I do recommend that you apply the glue from the bottom to the top, either intervals or completely all around every single time. Be sure to gently tap the yarn so that it connects to the previous roll. Just give it a little tap. I applied scotch tape to the top of this cone. So being that this yarn is very thin, I just did a few twirls and twists and glued it directly to the top where the tape was placed. Begin by removing the pin from the back of the brooch. Very easy to remove. Now my Christmas theme this year for the foyer and for the living room is blue, white, and glam. I have all of these little nuggets of glam items around the house and it's time for me to just pull it all together to end the year. Besides, when you have beautiful brooches like these from Totally Dazzled and you just have them just sitting there, why not just pop those out and use them for the holiday season? Here's what I'm going to do. Just take off the back and then glue them to my cone trees. Isn't that stunning? I know that you're going to love this idea. I've made at least eight trees already. These are from Totally Dazzled. They come 10 to a pack and there's a variety of shapes and sizes inside each pack. I have them in rose gold and tea gold and also in silver. And by the way, this Yarn B True Color Yarn is from Hobby Lobby. It's $4.99 and it's 40% off.
and my strategy was pretty simple. Just place the large brooches onto the cone first, starting with the larger ones along the bottom and basically alternating them toward the top. You see, the larger ones will need more of a surface to adhere to, and the smaller ones, you can fill those in between the larger brooches toward the top. I wanted you to see what the rose gold brooches would look like on the pearl white yarn. It is so elegant and so classy. I love the softness and yet the glam of this together. So if you are working on something that's farmhouse glam and you want to step it up a little bit, this is perfect. Now you may say, well, why do I have to use the glue to add the brooches? Why not just stick the pin directly um, through the yarn and let that be it? I did that and I noticed that it just didn't give me the security. It felt like it was going to fall off and then they tend to stick out a little too far away from the actual cone tree and for those smaller brooches that are more like buttons then you would have to use a straight pin to adhere those to the tree anyway. So that's why I decided to just remove the pin portion of the brooch and just use the hot glue. I think that adds a more cleaner approach to this whole thing. And yes, a mixed metal tree would also be beautiful. Now for my topper, which is optional, I took two of the brooches which were similar in sizes and I glued them together. And then I just adhered them to the top of the tree and it looked absolutely stunning. I wanted this to be a very elegant project and I decided to make sure that you didn't see a crowded tree. Even though there are probably 15 brooches on this tree, you still see plenty of that beautiful pearl white yarn and you also see plenty of those brooches in great detail. I love this. It's just an elegant little project and one of these will be perfect in any vignette. I also have the rose gold and the silver bling wrap from Totally Dazzled. It measures about four and a half inches by, I believe, 10 yards. That's a lot of bling wrap or mesh ribbon as a lot of people like to call it. Now this is about two and a half inches by 12 inches of that bling wrap just creating an actual ribbon around one of the cone trees and then adding one of their beautiful brooches, the largest one in the pack. This would be perfect on a mantle or a coffee table or even a console table just as a part of the other decorations that you have going on and it will certainly hold its own. Now how about cutting half inch or three quarter of an inch strips and wrapping it around your cone. It will give it a wonderful sparkly effect. Again, very elegant and very soft. And you can still add your brooches if you want. Now the bling wrap is just draped around the tree. It is not secured or glued. I just wanted to give you an option of seeing the tree draped in the bling wrap. Now I decided to do a very modern version of these trees. I decided to use the bling wrap in conjunction with the yarn. So you begin by wrapping the bling wrap around the bottom of the tree. Pull it tautly and then also tuck a little bit of it underneath the edge of the tree on the inside. Now, you are going to have a back of the tree that cannot be seen. So these styles of trees will need to be on a mantle or basically a side that has to be against the wall. That's all I need to say about that. So you then apply your glue and then just secure your bling wrap. 
Now complete all three sections of your bling wrap. That's the bottom, the middle, and the top. And then go back and add the yarn. Now here I'm adding the last section of the bling wrap to the top of the tree. I'm going to tuck the bling wrap into the hole at the top of the tree for now. But later on, you're going to see it out of that hole and a brooch is going to be attached to it. Now, I will only do this if you guys leave me a comment. I will do one of the bling wrap Christmas trees, solely done with the bling wrap. I prefer to do that on a bias cut because that would make the light bounce off of it. So I want you guys to let me know. Just leave me a comment. I want to see the bling wrap cone tree. These smaller rose gold brooches really looked amazing on this cone. I was excited to do one of the cones with the thicker yarn. I love this one because it reminds me of thick white towels. So if you're looking for decorations for your bathroom or your bathroom type spa moments, this is perfect for the holiday season when you create that beautiful vignette on the bathroom counter or on the ledge next to the bathtub. Just beautiful. Honestly, the ones with a thicker yarn are so much easier to decorate. First, they're faster to complete. Secondly, you can actually pin the brooch to the yarn and it just melts into that snowy vibe on that tree. And then lastly, you can actually go ahead and glue gems to this one and they still stand out. Just a little bit of hot glue and there it is, just adhered to the tree, so easy. I used two of the smaller spools of yarn, that is that pearl white, and I used one spool of yarn, that's that fluffy white that looks like snow. One of those made those three trees, so Come on, that is a really good bargain. And by the way, my poster board was only $1 from Dollar Tree. You cannot beat that when you look at all of the things that I've made today. So as far as a great savings. And besides, I want to invest my money into a really nice tree this year. I have my eye on something, guys. Now, if you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so today. Hey, and remember, click that playlist. Bree and I are going to start the playlist today with our video. So I want to make sure that you watch her video today and subscribe to her channel. And remember to turn on your notifications so you don't miss the very next Festive Friday video and the video in between that as well. Thanks a lot for watching and as always, 
Stay in prayer and stay creative.